Hello lovely viewers, you are most welcome to our channel Poetry Online. In this video, we shall be discussing the Negritude Literary Movement. Kindly subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get updates on all our new videos. Once again, let us assure you of a very interesting discussion. Get ready for this lesson. Negritude literature was a child of necessity, birthed by the social historical forces that a black man has been subjected to. As a race, the black race has suffered the indignities of slavery, colonial exploitation, neocolonialism, and racial discrimination at the hands of Westerners, and in order to correct the distorted notions about Africa held by the West, the founding fathers of Negritude, Emile Césaire, Leopold Sidasengo, and Leon Gontra de Mas decided to chart a new course through literary artistry. These founding fathers of La Negritude, known as Les Trois Pères, the Three Fathers, originally hailed from three different French colonies in Africa and the Caribbean. Providence brought them together in France in the early 1930s when they were students in France. Although each of the three founding fathers had different ideas about the purpose and style of La Negritude, this literary and ideological movement is generally characterized by the following. 1. Reaction to colonization 2. Denunciation of European lack of humanity Rejection of Western domination and ideals 3. Identity crisis Thus, acceptance of and pride in being black 4. Valorization of African history, traditions, and beliefs. The negative writers were so passionate about their exhalation of the virtues of Africa that they often painted an idealized and romanticized picture about Africa and the black race. The dominant motive of their works is the pride of blackness and its excellence. What then is negritude? The word negritude was coined from the Latin expression negritude inis, which to the Romans meant the essence of being black, though in its modern usage, a signified essence or qualities of being black or qualities of being a black person. The pejorative word nigger from the French word negre, used in reference to the black man, was later to become accepted by the black man but this time in a positive light to reflect the affirmation of being black with a sense of pride. In fact, the term negritude, which very closely resembles blackness in English, was first deliberately and proudly used in 1935 by Emile Césaire in the third issue of L'Etudien Noir, a protest magazine published in Paris with Leopold Sidasengo. Leon Gontra de Mars, Gilbert Gratians, Leonard Sinval, and Paulette Nadal. Negritude was the reactionary movement exemplified as a literary expression which was aimed at correcting the various distortions about Africa from the Western world. It was a social cultural renaissance that gave birth to a literary movement that glorified blackness and the black race. In a sense, it was a nationalist and pan-Africanist in outlook. In a broader sense, it celebrated blackness and embraced the black man. The Negritude literary movement could not have been limited to Africa only since most of its founding fathers were from the Caribbean, though of African extraction. Having started in Paris, France in 1930s by a group of Francophone West African and West African Indian students as an ideological and reactionary posture to correct false notions about Blacks or Africans held by the Western anthropologists. The movement blossomed into something of a revolutionary literary and cultural movement that was to bring African literature and the African continent into the limelight. Hertha Kalbeck sees negritude from two perspectives, thus broader and narrower view. In his broader view, he sees negritude as a literary ideological movement begun by French-speaking black intellectuals 
as an important and comprehensive reaction to the colonial situation. Africans and Blacks around the world were influenced by the Black Consciousness Movement, which rejects the political, social, and moral domination of the West. The narrower definition considered negritude as the writings of Black intellectuals who affirm Black personality and redefine the collective experience of Blacks. The dominant theme of this literature is the passionate praise of the Black race. It painted a kind of romantic myth of Africa as a victim of colonialism in all its social, moral, and psychological implications. The movement rehabilitated Africa and all Blacks in its repudiation of European ideology that considers the Black as inherently inferior to the whites. Historical antecedents. It is a fact to claim that negritude as a literary movement was a reactionary art form that was necessitated by historical developments in the world at that time. Historically, the black race has been a victim of oppression and mindless denigration in the hands of the white race. As a continent, African's history has been characterized by three phases in the evolutionary development. Thus, the pre-colonial, the colonial, and the post-colonial experiences. Literature from the continent attempted to explore each of these significant phases. Negritude literature emerged on the world stage as a result of some historical antecedents that helped to shape its form and theme. Emerging from the dark days of slavery in Europe and the New World, the black man began to vehemently assert his position in the world. The abolition of slavery and slave trade did not give the black man a complete freedom from the negative perceptions by the Western world. The basic philosophy of negritude was the reconstruction, through art, of the image of Africa with a view of correcting the various distortions from the Western philosophical discourses. Most negritude poems and works sought to revive true literature the cultural values and identities of Africans and to praise the ancestral beauty of Africa through the renunciation of whatever is Western. This ideology sought to emphasize the value of the civilization of the African world and the contribution of the black man to human civilization. Let's now look at some proponents of the negative literary movement. Leopold Sida Senghor, 1906 to 2001, born in Senegal, educated in Paris, friend of Amy Césaire, served in French army during the Second World War, spent 18 months in German prison camp, represented Senegal in French National Assembly, led Senegal's independence movement in 1960, first democratically elected president of Senegal, and held presidency for 20 years. Artistic works, Naked Woman or Black Woman. I will pronounce your name Nayat, Shandy Umber, Chefre Blanc, which means Dear White Brother, and Miss Zare. Born in Martinique, studied in Paris, teacher in Martinique, elected as a mayor. Artistic works are the locks of the void, notebook of a return to the native land, to the serpent, the woman and the flame. Leon Gontra de Mars, 1912-1978 Artistic works, they came tonight, pigment, the wretched of the earth, Guy to 1917 to 1988, from Guantelope, worked as colonial administrator in Africa, taken as prisoner during the Second World War with Leopold Sedasengo. Represented United Nations in Africa.
Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share this video.